Hey, hey, family and friends. This is Bree coming to you from Umami Gourmet Coffee and Exotic Tea. And guess what? January 15th, 2020 was the anniversary or was the first time that I actually uploaded a YouTube video. So this is one year later and I'm having a cocktail because I need one. That's delicious. Okay, let's stay focused. Now, I'm gonna talk about my stats and I'm gonna tell you that, first of all, I'm very happy at <laughs> being able to upload for a whole year. Now, some of you may say, well, what are you happy for? I'm happy for a couple of things and let's talk about that. I have my little notes down here. So January 15, 2021 will mark one year since I started uploading on YouTube. Now I've uploaded 41 videos. I have recorded <laughs> way more, <laughs> but those are the ones that made it to the final cut that I've actually uploaded. And I think I may go back and look at some of them to see some, some other ones that didn't make the cut to see if possibly, you know, I may be able to do something with them, but it's, it's not a big deal. I was hoping to get to 52. That would have been one video a week, but didn't get there. You know, life happens. I have spent countless hours editing when I first started, it would take me days to edit, and I mean days, I'm serious. Let me just take a drink on that one. When I say, like my first couple of videos would take me like 24 to 48 hours to edit. And of course not straight, but it would take me days. It's like, it's like I remember waking up one morning and going you know i got up brushed my teeth and everything sat at the table and just sat there i get up get something to eat you know fix something drink my water go to the bathroom or whatever and then i would go back and sit at that table because i knew that i had to get that video out so you know i was learning the software Although my background is in public relations and advertising, I never wanted to be in front of a camera. So I had to edit those mistakes out that, you know, those those talking mistakes and, and those mistakes that I would make that, you know, nobody really should see or want to see. So it took hours at first of editing before I would upload that and video. I'm, I'm still learning how to edit. Now, I've gotten better. I'm way better <laughs> than I was when I sat at that table that day. But it was, I had to put it on my agenda to learn how to use that specific software. And I may do, I'm thinking about doing like an editing video with that, that software, but that particular software did not go, did not come easy. Um, I did not use iMovie, um, although I do have an iPhone and iPads. I just, I, I chose not to use iMovie. Um, and I guess we'll get into the reasons in another video. Okay, so first, let's talk about the cons about being a YouTuber, or I can tell you my journey, okay? So, of course, the number one con is I'm not monetized yet. Um, why are you smiling, Brie? Because I believe that I will become monetized. I don't think. <laughs> if you would have asked me when I first started, I wouldn't have told, I, you know, I would have told you it's not going to take a year. You know, now I'm saying it's not going to take two years. I don't. <laughs> Let's hope. I'm being very hopeful that it's not going to take that long. But and I'm gonna talk about the pros also, so we can talk about, you know, I'm laughing about it, no, I haven't become monetized, but I'm not totally dependent on YouTube as my income. If I was, 
I would have been out of luck a long time ago. Just think of working on a job for a year or better and never getting paid. Let's think about that for a minute. <laughs> That's not good for anybody. I, I wouldn't recommend anyone do that. Okay. So then you will say, okay, well, why are you still doing it? Let's talk about the cons first, and then I'll get into why I'm still a YouTuber and why I'm, I'm still working towards so, that goal. Number two, <laughs> as a con, YouTube is not for the weak. It's definitely not for the week. You know, before I, I, and I decided that I wanted to do YouTube videos like four or five years ago. And I, I remember, you know, cause I wasn't a person that watched a lot of YouTube, but I remember saying, oh, that's easy. You know, you just shoot a video, you, you, uh, you upload it, it's easy. Oh no, let me tell you, this is not easy and kudos to all the other youtubers that i've ever watched and i apologize for ever saying this was easy because it is not it takes a lot and it is not another con is it's difficult i find it difficult to upload twice a week that's what i'd like to do um, this is like the second week of January. I've uploaded three videos and I think this will be my fourth one. I do have about two or three more that I can edit and, um, and try to upload, but it's not easy. Um, I'm a businesswoman. I, you know, <laughs> I have life going on. It's just not easy. Now, let me tell you, you know, you have to find your strength. So my strength really is planning the videos and shooting the videos. My strength is not editing videos. <laughs> That's what takes the longest for me. So someone else who, you know, their strength may be editing and, and my hat's off to those YouTubers who edit, shoot, you know, shoot, edit, um, upload. They, they're running their own thing. My hat's off to them. I don't have, <laughs> I'm not that, okay? Oh, where my qualities lie and, and that's not it, okay? Another difficulty or another con that I have is what to share, you know, how much to share. I've, and I've always had a, I've always had a, a, a little, you know, problem with that, even all the time what to share, how much to share, when to share. So I'm learning with that and I'm doing a little more because I do understand that you, as the, you know, the person watching or the viewer, you want to become more comfortable with the, um, the artist or the influencer. So I am learning that. And the last con, <laughs> and this probably should have been one, two, one through five, for me, is editing videos. <laughs> Did I mention that I don't like editing videos? <laughs> but anyway, I have learned and I'm still learning. The more I prepare and then shoot or write my script and then shoot, the less editing I have to do. Also, I'm learning to use the software better. So that's less editing or less problems that I would have because I had a lot of problems with this particular software and if you want to you know you want me to do a video on on that the software then I will but I think some of it well a lot of it was a learning curve but it was the learning curve mixed with <laughs> me trying to learn how to proper how to uh, speak in front of the camera and getting comfortable with speaking in front of the camera. So it was a little bit of both. Let's talk about the pros. <laughs> so the number one pro that I feel is I know that this will lead to something bigger. I, after I started uploading and I think about six months in, <laughs> and you have to know what type of person I am. I don't, like when I do things, I don't think about failing. 
I don't, I never think about failing. I don't know why, it's just the way that I'm wired. So about six months in, I wasn't monetized. <laughs> and I, I, we were, me and my husband were in the car and we were talking and I told him, I said, you know, I never thought about failing before. I never thought about whether this wouldn't work or what, what I would do if this wouldn't work. He was like, really? I said, no, I, I just don't think like that. I don't know why, but I don't think like that. It's going to work. It has to work, okay? So the pro, one of the pros is I think this will be way bigger than me, and I'm happy about that. I'm confident that it will be bigger than me. So you may ask, okay, so <laughs> why are you still doing it? Well, the second pro is YouTube has allowed my business to grow and reach new and old customers. Now, one of the benefits or one of the, I can't think today. <laughs> one of the advantages that I had going into creating a channel and becoming a YouTuber is I already had a small business. So it's it was a little easier for me because I had already established a business, but what happened was I closed the business down and totally moved online, totally moved to another state. So I had challenges, but I also had advantages. So what YouTube or creating that YouTube channel allowed me to reach new and old customers and business has been doing well. I can see those numbers increasing with my YouTube videos. I can also see when I'm mentioning different teas on my YouTube channel, what's happening in my online store those teas are being purchased more so that is a definitely definite pro now youtube one of the other pros is the reach is amazing i'm starting to ship um internationally before i was just shipping you know in the u.s now i'm shipping internationally which to me gives me customers that I'm not sure I would have been able to reach on my own or as quickly. So I'm loving that. Now, another thing is I had a store in Virginia and people used to always, my customers used to always talk about how quaint, how, um, how lovely the environment was. You know, I can, I'll reach out to someone now and they'll still say, oh, we miss you in Virginia. Now, the reason why it took me so long to sign on to YouTube or to create a channel was because I was, I was a little, you know, worried about whether I would be able to create that community again. Now, of course, I'm not going to be able to create that community, but YouTube has allowed me to create a community much like what we had in Virginia so I still have people reaching out to me I'm able to interact with them um, I'm able to answer questions we're able to to talk and communicate back and forth like I said it's not the same but it still provides a certain customer interaction with the people that um, the new and the old customers that YouTube is bringing me. And number five, <laughs> guess what? I love it. Now, I didn't think I would love it as much. I thought it would be kind of a labor of love, but I'm finding out that I really enjoy coming up with content, making the videos for you all, seeing the, um, you know, what works, what doesn't work. I've actually, I'm learning new skills with this. It's giving me a different type of purpose for my business and within the business. I absolutely love coming up with the videos and 
you know, when you order something that, that I've featured or when you have questions or, you know, when I see you talking about them online, I absolutely love the interaction and what YouTube has brought to the business. Is that a word? What YouTube has brought to the business? What has been provided by YouTube? I don't know, anyway. Anyway, it's great, okay? <laughs> but thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this video very helpful. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers. Oh, I should fill that. Fill my glass up. Cheers.